All right, Jeff here again. Yeah, I knocked out a couple thread videos, but I wanted to go ahead and do my first official 2021 new acquisitions video, I guess. Yesterday, as I was doing my final one of the year with my uh, countdown of the 2020 reissues, I thought this will be the last because I don't have anything else coming in. I, the, the couple remaining packages that were out in this USPS system weren't supposed to start one of them was supposed to be here Saturday. I'm like, fine. Well, as I was editing that video yesterday, the, the mail person came and brought me a package. So what had happened is the package had come to our local post office later in the morning. So it said they delivered on Saturday because Friday's a holiday. So I thought, great, whatever. It finally made it to my local post office, but it was too late. The carrier had already been out delivering the mail. But I guess they decided to get some of those packages out. And uh, so they came around and brought me that package, and then she went away, and then about an hour later she came back and dropped off another package, which was for uh, somebody else. It was a late Christmas present that was supposed to be here. Anyway, so I got a couple records yesterday. As I'm editing and as I'm tinkering around yesterday, I'm listening to them and just, you know, I want to go ahead and share them now. So, real briefly, what happened was these albums were released as Kickstarters over a year ago at least one of them the other ones have been since then now the one that was over a year ago at the time when it came out i just funds were tight and i didn't jump on board i kind of hated myself for not doing it well lo and behold right around thanksgiving a month ago they finally put them on their site what was left from the kickstarter program so hey we've got some vinyl and everything left they put them up there this and the other band that i'm going to show and I thought, okay, great, you know. And the prices are normal. They're not, like, outrageous. So I jumped on it because I really had to have this album. And I really am sad that I missed it. So I am talking about, and this is an odd one maybe for me, if you, you know, whatever. This is the Lost Dogs. I mentioned them in my thread a minute ago. Just ran through them. But So the Lost Dogs, this is their second album, Little Red Riding Hood. The Lost Dogs... Is sort of kind of like one of those super groups. You got four main guys up front playing guitars. All of them playing guitars, maybe bass. And they got a, ba a band behind them. But for the most part, there's a lot of uh, acoustics of the, just them singing together and harmonizing. They've got... The music is all over the place. It is the first album I bought simply because of who was in the band. Had no idea what it was. And it turned out to be very... Uh, I, I guess it would be kind of an Americana, but it really leans heavily towards like a country feel. Very, at times, uh, old gospel, but because old gospel's kind of got that country feel. They do some old gospel tunes, which is kind of why, at times. But they do a lot of just lyrically great stuff, musically great. And they do, they do kick it in. They do have some, you know, some songs that are rock, upbeat rock. They've got songs that are kind of quirky and funny. They've got a wide range. But what you've got here, and the reason I got it was because one of the singers is Micro of 77s. I'm a big 77s fan. You watch me for any length of time. Uh, 77 just kind of a start off as a new wave, borderline punky, pop punk uh, band in the Christian market. Though musically, lyrically, they've never really been preachy. So if you don't get turned off by 77s being in the Christian market, they have occasional morals to their stories, but the music and the, everything it's one of the best songwriters just lovely stuff great stuff everything from mellow to rock but anyway he's on here so i thought i'm gonna buy it it has a singer from daniel amos terry taylor has uh gene eugene from adam again now i was not at all familiar with adam again adam again was a 90s band i lumped them into the alternative scene which they technically are I totally zoned out. I didn't listen to anything in the 90s. In the 90s, I turned my eyes to Europe and kept up with the power metal and bands who were still releasing stuff. So I really ignored a lot of the alternative stuff of the 90s. And that included even in the Christian market and bands like Adam again. Anyway, and then it's got uh, Derrick Audrey from uh, The Choir. Now, I was I was familiar with The Choir, but they were, you know, in the early days, they were kind of a, a poppier band. And then they kind of went a little more mellow and I lost track of them. But you've got these four guys, four great songwriters four great singers four just great musicians got together and they put out this first album which was great then they put out the second album this is the one that's on vinyl i don't know i hope they put the first one out because that really is my first 
favorite album by them. And they've got a lot of other albums I showed in my thread, my recent thread. They have a lot of albums and they've continued on. Now, uh, Gene Eugene from Adam Again, the singer from here, he passed away a handful of years ago. The band has, you know, done some other work without him, but it's just great stuff. It's all over the place. It's not metal. It's not hard rock. So this is definitely one of the lighter sides of Jeff. And like I say, it's not, it's not preachy. It's not in any sense like that. They've got, okay, they have a song called Jesus Loves You, Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys. And they talk about his struggle. You know, he went through the mental issues and stuff. And it just talks about, hey, you've had this issue. You've lost your, your magic. And, you know, they just say, Jesus loves you. You know, kind of a, a light, lighten up a little. So anyway, it's a, it's a gatefold. It is a double record set. It actually has some lots of uh, well, the album doesn't so much, but kind of a cute. And then you, you know you've got songs like uh, well, some of the more religious stuff. You know, you got like "Pray Where You Are," which is just a really good song. Uh, you've got songs though like "Bad Indigestion." <laughs> you got to hear that song. Go look it up. It's funny. It just talks about all the junk we eat and how it affects us, and it's really kind of a, it's just a funny song. But anyway, so I grabbed this. It comes, they came on all, you know how Kickstarters are. They always put out, some of them always put out multiple colors. I grabbed a red, white, and black. Both discs, red, white, and black, sound great. Now they also threw in, and they only had, I think, a handful of these made. I forget how many, 500 copies of this 7-inch. And it's got a couple bonus tracks and some other songs that were released on the CD version as... Big Bad Wolf. It's got a bunch of just in the studio silliness and goofing around. Well, of course, I had to buy that. So I got the CD version. It's a double disc set. It has the album. And it's got the Big Bad Wolf with all the bonus tracks. Got the booklets and everything. So I had the deal. It's it's got the whole it's got the whole deal. So now a handful of years ago it was reissued. This album was reissued as a two CD set, and the second CD is the EP for Pray Where You Are, and it has a bunch of songs on it too. Now most, I believe most of these songs are probably contained on the Big Bad Wolf. I know I've seen some of them, but I'm not 100% sure if they all are. I really need to compare them because if they all are, I can get rid of this. Anyway, this is this is a red, just a translucent red. It's got like what, four tracks on it, five tracks on it? So yeah, they had thrown this in as a bonus. What happens with bands like the Lost Dogs and the 77s and things like that line is when they do these Kickstarter programs, they'll say, hey, you know, we need $25,000 to release this album. But they've got such a fan following that all of a sudden they raise 75000 or something. It's I've seen it go nuts. So what these this particular label does, Low Fidelity uh, Records... They add things to the package. And they're like, oh, okay, we made more than enough. We'll add another vinyl. Oh, we made more than enough. We'll add another vinyl. Oh, we made more than enough. We'll add more CDs. Oh, we'll dig in the vaults and find something deeper. So they do that all the time. The 77s, the, the annual Amos, things like that. Anyway, the other thing I did was I did go ahead. I listened a little bit online. I thought, oh, wow, because I'm so familiar with Gene Eugene's voice that going back now and listening to Adam again has more of a familiar sound. Now, his vocal stylings on this and the music sound, at times, so much like R.E.M. It's uncanny. And I understand when I read some more about them that that's kind of who they are compared to. So, if you like R.E.M., if you like you know, that vocal style, that musical style, you probably, like me now, like Adam again. Now, Adam again has had Kickstarter programs for three of their albums. All of which were added to... I love this song. I listened to this yesterday. Great stuff. All of which were added to their page at the same time. And I thought, okay, great. So this was kind of like, let's do this for Thanksgiving. Now they all are on cool colored vinyls. This is a uh, orange and black squishy stuff. This one is in particular... They have multiple colors to choose from. But this is a gatefold, though it is a single record set. called Homeboys just a great album and it is kind of an alternative feel but uh it's not in any way some of the bad some of the stuff that i'm not as excited about dig this is single not a gatefold 
And the record for this one, it's got an insert with lyrics. It's kind of a blue and white. You don't really see the white, but there's like a white blob. Yeah, you do. It's kind of white blob in there. Blue translucent. And then Perfecta. It is a double set. Gate focus and live shots in there. Red and black split. So each one of these had at least three or four colors to choose from, and I I don't know. I chose the ones that impressed me the most. Anyway, yes, that's it. That was what I got. They all came finally. These have actually been in the mail not quite as long as Black Friday. The, the label I bought them before Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving and actually they didn't get mailed for like about 10 days after that but still they've been in the system since early December and finally showed up in beautiful shape yes so my lost dogs and Adam again set both of which are still available if you go check them out on their band camp sites you can get all these on vinyl and have beautiful stuff too anyway that's it for right now thanks a lot rock on